2020 is one of those years that is going to be remembered in history for centuries to come. It's not just about the pandemic, but how the world reacted, especially the central banks. Central banks all across the world printed unbelievable amounts of money. Just in 2020, over $9 trillion were thrown into the economy. Almost half of the existing money was created since the beginning of the pandemic, which clearly should have created a hyperinflation. But experts told us that's not happening. The truth is that inflation has hit a record high since 2020. And now people like Jack Dorsey are saying hyperinflation is going to change everything. It is happening. He is not a random guy. He's the founder of Twitter, one of the largest tech companies in the world, and the CEO of Square, a financial payments company. And he's not alone. Multiple experts have already warned about the coming hyperinflation. While I don't really believe in it, but judging by what's happening, it could happen. People don't understand how devastating it could be. It is not another crisis like a pandemic. The moment people lose faith in the dollar, it is the end of the dollar because fiat money is not backed by anything except our belief in it. Just take a look at what happened in the Weimar Republic after the First World War or Zimbabwe in 2006. The truth is that individually we can change that, but what we can certainly do is take better care of our money. While inflation is still around 5%, you have to save as much as possible to purchase assets that will rise together with inflation. We have made an entire video about how to profit from inflation, but in this video, we are going to take a look at 5 money traps you have to avoid in your 20s, because if you do not, you will never become financially free. If you are ready, give this video a thumbs up, and here is a little disclaimer. This is not financial advice. And everything that's said in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes. And now, let's dive in. Number 1. Betting Unless you have been living under the rock, you probably watched or at least heard about the Squid Game. It perfectly illustrates humanity's will to find a quick way to prosperity, especially when they are desperate. There is something in the back of our minds that tells us that there is a shortcut to wealth only if we just bet on the right team or the right horse or whatever it might be. But the truth is that at the end of the day, it all comes down to luck. And chances that you will be lucky could be one in a thousand or one in a million or one in a hundred million. Which means the vast majority of people are going to lose in this game. So do not ever choose this path as your way to create wealth, no matter how sweet that it looks. Real wealth takes real effort and real time. The case with GameStop perfectly shows our will to gamble our way to the top. It was a risky bet. Although the hedge funds made a terrible mistake, it was clear this is a bubble and it is going to burst at some point. Of course, the people who held the stock in the beginning did make a lot of money. Others jumped in when it was at all time high and lost their savings without really understanding all the risks that comes along with it. Number 2. Sacrificing your future for the sake of today This is the most common financial trap that most people fall into, especially young people. We want to enjoy life today and not 5, 10 or 20 years from now. Merely the idea of enjoying life when you're old sounds so dumb that why even consider it? I totally agree with you, but the problem is that life is set in such a way that you're either going to enjoy a little bit today or enjoy a lot later in your life. I am not a fan of sacrificing the present for the future because life is now and not tomorrow, especially 10 years from now. If you can't enjoy the present, you won't be able to enjoy the future, especially when you're not guaranteed to live till that future. However, enjoying life isn't just about spending money. You can perfectly have fun with friends while not spending a lot of money. Just remember your childhood. You used to have great time with friends while not even having a dollar in your pocket. At least that's how my childhood was. My parents never gave me money, but nonetheless, I still had great time with friends. It's your perspective, the way you look at it. If you're used to satisfying your urges by spending money, then that's something you should work on. Number 3. You stop learning how new technologies work. 
This is a very common mistake people make as they get elder, and that includes myself as well. As we grow and get elder, we start paying less attention to new technologies. It gets difficult to push yourself to use them. I'm trying to push myself to learn how TikTok works, for example, but I've been pretty unsuccessful so far. The problem is that the world is constantly changing, especially in the last 50 years, and wealth is shifting from one generation to another. How many Rockefellers, for example, are there on the Forbes list? Not many, and nowhere close to the top of the list. The family who inherited the wealth of the richest man in America, who had a net worth of $400 billion adjusted to inflation, are slowly losing their fortune. And yet this dropout from Harvard worth 12 times more with $121 billion, because one kept living on his father's success, while the other took advantage of this new invention called internet. So if you want to keep making money, you have to keep learning. Always be curious. In the last 10 years, YouTube and Instagram have been booming, but today there are other platforms that are taking over such as TikTok. We have entire new industries like crypto that are growing exponentially. Number 4. Not being patient. One of my weaknesses is that I'm not a patient person. This is something I realized in myself since when I was a kid and I have been working on myself since then. But what I realized that whenever I'm patient, things turn out to be way better. You're making an investment and things go down. All you have to do is wait and things will get better. Because ups and downs are normal in the stock market, but a lot of people pull out. Think of Bitcoin recently. It has plummeted significantly and recently crossed a new milestone. That doesn't mean that just because you're waiting, it is going to grow. But if your investment is based on real analysis that prove that this particular asset worth a certain price, then you should not worry about it. Buy and forget about it. Or when it comes to buying something expensive, you just feel the urge to swipe that credit card and get that thing as soon as possible. But the next day you realize that you're perfectly fine if you haven't bought that thing. So if you have been a little patient, if you went back home and slept on it, the next day you would have changed your mind and saved yourself a few hundred or maybe a few thousand dollars. But it's really difficult since we're living in this consumer-based economy where our lives moves forward by spending money. Number 5. Investing all of your money. The feeling when you just start investing is awesome. But when you discover the concept of inflation and look at your money, you feel so bad that why your $10,000 that you barely saved are sitting and losing value over time, especially when we have record high inflation. I feel you. I have the exact same feeling when I look at my savings. But the truth is that life is unpredictable. Things could go great today and horrible tomorrow. And if you don't have enough cash at your hands, you might end up getting into debt that will cost you much more than what your investment could generate. So it's always better to have an emergency fund before you start investing. Figure out how much you spend per month and make sure you have at least three to six months of savings always stashed in your bank account and invest the rest. Yes, this money is going to lose value over time, but you never know what is going to happen a year from now. But what you can know for sure is that you're ready no matter what happens. But before you start investing, you should at least know the basics of the stock market. I get it, it is not easy, especially when you're just starting. You have a million questions. But don't worry, I get it. I was once in your shoes. And to answer all of your questions, I have created a course that is simple, straightforward, and fully animated. It literally answered almost all of the questions you have in your mind. I strongly recommend it if you're serious about investing. It will not just teach you how to invest in index funds, but it will also teach you how to analyze stocks and read financial statements. And at the end of the course, you will have to complete an assignment that I will personally check. And the best part of it is that you can get two weeks of Skillshare Premium if you use the link in the description and get the course for free. So don't miss it. You can also start your investing journey by getting two free stocks from Webull using the link in my description. You have everything you need to start. If you have enjoyed this video, you will most definitely enjoy this custom playlist that I have created specifically for you that has our most popular videos in business, investing in the stock market that could potentially change your life. And now give this video the thumbs up that it deserves and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for watching and until next time.